John and Mike Royce is here. Welcome to the third video in the Making History series, and an exciting one at that. Today we actually start the build. In this program we'll be making the rudder, horizontal stabiliser and elevator. And it's important to know that the steps taken to make these few small parts will actually go to help you quickly learn the skills you need to build the rest of the aircraft. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of the other programs in the series, please subscribe to the MicroAces YouTube channel and you should then be alerted to any new videos that are uploaded. This is MicroAces Making History. Okay, here we are. The start of the build, very exciting. And I have the tools for the job, the glue, I have the parts for the first step, and I have the manual. Don't forget, always use the manual for a micro aces build. So, let's go to the manual and look at step one. Well, it's the assembly of the rudder. And quite simply, there are two parts to the rudder, and then there are a couple of stickers that go either side and a little control horn that uh, then sits on the port side of the, uh, of the rudder. In the first step, it is left to me to glue the two parts together. So quite simply, I'll take my Yoohoo glue. It's quite warm today, so usually when it's warm, the stuff comes shooting out the top. But, um, as you can see, I'm just going to smear a little bit around, down the back edge, trailing edge, and across. A little bit in the middle there, a little bit in the middle there, and that's about it. Now, Yuhu is a contact adhesive, so I could leave that to dry for uh, a couple of minutes, and then bring that to bear onto the, uh, onto the other part. But what I'm going to do, while it's wet, I'm just going to shimmy that part around a bit, take it off, and then both parts have got some glue on. I'm going to let it dry uh, for probably about 30 seconds and then bring the part together. Okay, the parts are now dry on their inner surface, so I'm going to very carefully bring them together. They're both exactly the same shape, so I'm going to make sure that I marry this back edge up to this back edge and the top to the top and then everything should be should be in place so I'm just popping it down there there we go and nearest damn it we have our part stuck together So the next phase of the build is to actually put the uh, sticker with the number one on it, uh, or by the side of it actually on the uh, on the sticker sheet, uh, onto the Depron foam. So I'll grab my sheet and using the technique that we had a look at in the previous video, I'm going to take my rotor off. So here we go. A quick curve. To release it, then the use of tweezers to start the peel, and then a swap over and delicate areas get a little bit of special treatment, and we're free. So now sticking this down to the part itself, um, what I'm going to use is my first point and second point of contact method. And once again, I'm just going to use this curve here to match the curve there, and then use the back edge to line up on the back edge of the part itself. So let's just bring that a little bit closer to me so I can see it and, and come down on top of it. Okay, we have first point of contact, second point of contact, and we're on nicely lined up. Now what I can do is just nudge that down the slope and on this top piece here 
I actually wrap this around so it actually falls on that side. This area here I leave protruding because it's actually it actually acts as the hinge for the rudder once it's uh, attached to the fuselage. And it's got a little bit of a, I just bend it out of the way so um, when I put the other sticker on it doesn't immediately stick to it, it's something I can control once the other sticker's down. There we go, so I'm ready to apply my second sticker. There we have it, I get those stickers out of the way. So place this sticker down. Here it goes. First point of contact. Second point of contact. We're there. So now I need to run this down the slope. Of that 45 degree angle and match it up to the opposite sticker then they stick nicely together what I can do is actually fold this a few times just to loosen up a bit for the uh, for the hinge so that the servo isn't too overloaded when it's trying to uh, trying to move the rudder just fold that the top there and there we have our rudder piece. All that's left to do is to attach the control horn. And all we have to do is put a little bit of glue down. I prefer to actually put it onto the the, the, the plastic of the control horn. There we go. And a decent amount and I would actually let that dry for a few minutes and then apply it so that the contact adhesive properties of the glue actually uh, work to their fullest extent. So the glue is now dry on the, uh, on the control horn and if you look at the port side of the rudder there's a little area marked out where it sits and within that area if you look very closely you should see that there is a little cross cut out and what you do is you put the point of the control horn through the centre of that cross and that should allow the sticker material to give way and the spike will go into the Depron and be secured. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, let's move on to the horizontal stabiliser and elevator. As you can see, I've got my two parts here. This is probably the most delicate part to extract from the Depron, so you've got to take care. But if you do end up busting it, just glue it back together because we're going to put a, a carbon fibre brace in there and the sticker material is going to go some way to... Uh, to making it a lot uh, a lot stronger. So, what does our number two step, the first stage of number two, tells us to actually insert a small carbon fibre brace. And as you will probably be able to see, there's a small slot in the, uh, in the elevator to, uh, to accommodate that. So let me just get the, uh, the brace. It's actually in the wire pack, the wire and uh, carbon fibre pack. And it's probably sitting down the bottom somewhere. There we are. Tiny little thing. But oh so important. Now that actually goes into the slot there. Um, it's only, I think it's 03 mil wide so it quite easily goes in there but what I like to do is just 
loosen it up a little bit using a knife and just take a shaving. I mean, probably less than 0.2 of a mil. And just remove that from either side. There we go. And not really any need to uh, to glue it in. We can just slot it in there. And then all the stickers on the outside will go to uh, to securing that in place. Okay, so that part done. The next job is to actually bring the um, the elevator and the horizontal stabilizer together and join them. Now the detail on here on the uh, on the actual elevator itself um, they are obviously stamped out at the same time um, and so fit very tightly in these holes. What I would suggest is that you just trim a little bit off the edges here so that they don't hamper the movement of the elevator once it's, uh, once it's set up. So I'm literally going to take a, a shaving. You could actually sand these if you wanted to. But literally take a little slice on either side. This is where you need your sharp knife. There we go. So if I look at my fit now, there's a little bit of play there so that it's not going to get in the way of the, uh, of the movement of the control surface. Okay, now I need to, according to the instructions, I need this so that the bottom of the uh, of this part is facing up um, you'll notice on the elevator that there is a 45 degree cut now that sits on top that's that's at the, the top surface of the part so if I just flip that over bring the two together there and now what I need is some um, little lozenge shaped stickers which are very well camouflaged um, on these sheets on the P51 here, um, they're on two sheets. You've got sticker sheet four and sticker sheet three. Um, sticker sheet four has it just running down here next to the pilot information. And sheet three has them in two columns running down on the, uh, the left-hand side of the sheet. So I'll use these ones. I'll just pop out So literally, we're using these as hinges, and I'm actually going to use my tweezers rather than my fingers to apply these. Um, the first one I'm going to apply is the, the one in the centre. And when you apply the one in the centre, um, leave a bit of an overhang. This will help secure things. So I'm literally going to lay it down there, take my tweezers away, and for now, I'll leave that overhang there. I'll get the other um, lozenges on and then I'll fold it over and secure it down. So the next one, I'm going to sit out as far outboard as possible without stopping the movement of the control surface. And same goes this side. There we go. Now, let me just check check the movement there. That seems to be fine. There's a little gap this side, so um, what I might want to do is either increase the gap this side or pull the gap in that side. I think what I'm going to do is open it up slightly here. So I'm just going to peel this off. Just going to get my knife under there. And then once I've got a corner up, I can use my tweezers to grip it. 
and then slowly peel it off. Not a problem. Move my elevator out a fraction so there's a, a probably a mil or half a mil gap there. And then bring that sticky down again. There we go. That's probably improved the movement as well, yeah. And everything's working well. So I can now fold my little sticky round on the carbon fibre brace and there we have it. It's all nice and solid now. And once we get the other stickers on, it's going to be even better. Okay, now we are going to put some stickers onto this structure. Let's get rid of the Yoohoo. Um, and that is part three and part four. So here's part three. This is the upper surface of the starboard side of the elevator. So let's have a look at the part. Um, it's fairly uncomplicated round here. It's got a few cut-ins here, so that's fairly delicate. And there's a 90 degree here that we should be careful of. So what I'm going to do is start in this corner here and then work it through on the peel. Let's just work this area out. There we go. And the first area I'm going to be careful of is, is here. There's a 90 degree And also on this part, you have um, a perforation, and uh, that perforation uh, enables the sticker to bend in a particular place so that it can go down that 45 degree cut on the leading edge of the uh, elevator. Now before I put this particular sticker down, I'm going to fold it, so you can see there, along the perforation, or score, so that when it goes down, it actually starts to sit in the right place to start off with. So I'm going to go for the stick on this. My first point of contact is that corner with that corner, and then my second point of contact is this rear edge leading up to this curve here. So, let's do that. First point of contact. Second point of contact. There we go. I'm just brushing it with the uh, with the tweezers down into the gap created by that 45 degree but essentially we uh, we have the part there right well I'll um, I'll crack on and get the other side on and then I'll come back when we are starting the stick on the main horizontal stabilizer surface. Okay, so I've got both of the upper surfaces of the elevator on, and what I've noticed when I'm moving them is there a little, there's a little bit of clicking, and that's essentially one of the uh, the stickers is uh, is being flicked against um, the uh, some of the the Depron here. So what I can actually do, I've identified it's in this area here. Um, it's actually the um, the port side edge of this detail. What I can do is literally just flip that over like that, take my knife and once again just cut a tiny sliver off there and then 
Okay, it's still clicking, so we can cut off a tiny bit more. And there we have less clicking and full movement. We don't want anything getting in the way of this elevator moving. Right, let's go for the, uh, the, the rest of the stickers for the horizontal stabilizer. My first point of contact for this part is this corner here, and then I'm going to be laying that edge as closely as I can to the edge on the Depron there. Let's give it a go. Now I can turn that over and then literally pull these round and down on the other side. It should naturally form a nice curve at the front there, but make sure you pull it as tight as possible so that you don't have you don't over bake it. And on the underside, we literally just repeat the process of the um, elevator, then horizontal stabilizer. There you have it. So, the only thing to do now is to attach our control horn to the little area marked out there. You can locate it in that little cross, drive it home, make sure it's nice and straight, and there we have it. So there we go. We've now got two bits of our P51D Mustang, Cripes are mighty, ready and waiting for the fuselage construction. So in the Next episode, what we're going to do is go through exactly that. Look at the fuselage, how it goes together, and make sure we're doing it all right. If you can't wait for that video and you want to crack on with your build, by all means do. What you've seen in the stages that we've gone through today will help immensely in bringing the rest of the aircraft together for you. So I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Microasis making history.